Well, you so compass and the idea that, uh, you know, the uh, northern needle points to magnetic north. But I've just been thinking, you know, there are magnets in the world that can attract each one of us. And my question is, what's your magnet? What's my magnet? For example, if you were um, heading up the UK as Prime Minister or as President of the United States, if you were sitting in the Oval Office in the chair that Obama sits in, what would be your magnet? And I, I just want to pick up on something that I noticed on somebody else's video, which is the magnet that appears to be drawing uh, the United States, uh, Great Britain, and uh, indeed all the NATO countries is Afghanistan. Afghanistan is the lodestone of the world at the moment. And all of these countries, our countries, your country, my country, my taxes, your taxes, are all being poured into this black hole of Afghanistan. And why do I say that? Because historically, you just sit down, you look at the books, Afghanistan is a no-go zone. And uh, <laughs> well, you, you don't go there unless you want to get beat. Um, an entire British army was wiped out in Afghanistan at the end of the 19th century. Only one, one man survived, who happened to be uh, the chaplain. And uh, he actually rode away from that battle. I mean, he didn't ride away as a coward, but he just managed to escape. How he got killed, uh, how he didn't get killed, I don't know. But uh, it, it's a, sort of a famous thing that took place. They found this one man who was able to tell them what had happened to the army. Totally destroyed. We all know what happened to the Russian army when it went into Afghanistan. And um, in case Americans sort of feel, well, we had a part to play in that because we equipped the, uh, uh, the Mujahideen. I think the answer to that is, shame on you. Shame on you for supplying funds to the Mujahideen. That was not clever, especially when you're tackling the same guys as the Russians did a few years later. But in our private lives, there are magnets too. Magnets which attract our attention, attract our time, but are not necessarily profitable for us. I love what said in, uh, in the Bible when Paul, he was writing, he was saying that uh, in Christ, as a Christian, all things were lawful to him, but not all things were profitable. And I guess that is the big issue for countries facing Afghanistan, and it's the big issue for you and I when we face things that attract us uh, that maybe shouldn't. All things are lawful for us, but not all things are profitable.